All right, good day everyone. So welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is Casalic and Vlogs. Today we will be talking about conditional statements. So conditional statements can be written if P then Q form or if P Q form. So these are the ways that we could write uh, uh, conditional statement. So if P then Q form or uh, if P, this one. So if P or Q form or if P or Q form. For instance, all the following are conditional statements. If we order pizza, then we can have it delivered. So if, then. If you go to the movie, you will not be able to meet us for dinner. So if P, Q form. Okay, then if n is a prime number greater than 2, then n is an odd number. So this is n, if p, then q form. And the other one is if p, q form. In any conditional statement represented by if p, then q, or if p, q, the p statement is what we call as the antecedent. And the Q statement is called the consequent. So you have here the two statements P and Q, which is P is the antecedent, and the Q is called the consequent. Okay, so example number one, identify the antecedent and consequent in the following statement. If our school was this nice, I would go there more than once a week. So here, we have to identify what is our antecedent. So our antecedent is here. This is our antecedent. So antecedent if our school was this nice and our, our and a consequent is I would go there for more than once a week. So this is our consequent. Again, our antecedent is our school was this nice and our consequent is I would go there more than more than once a week. So let's have number two, letter B. Rather, so if you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. So that is our antecedent here. If if you don't stop and look around once in a while, and you could miss it. So this is our consequent. Next is, if you strike me down, that is, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. So if you strike me down, that is your antecedent, and I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine, that is our consequent. So this is how to identify the antecedent and consequence in the following statement. So again, this is in a if P, then Q form, or in P, Q form. So let's have another example. Identify the antecedent and consequent in each of the following conditional statement. So the antecedent is, I study. If I study for at least six hours, then I will get an A on the test. So this is our antecedent. So if I study, so our antecedent is, I study for at least six hours, then our consequent is I will get an A on the test. That is, I will get an A on the test. That is our consequent. Next, if I get the job, so this is I get the job, and I will buy a new car. So this is our antecedent. If I get a job, then our consequent is I will buy a new car. So next is, if you can dream it, you can do it. So our antecedent is, you can dream it. And our consequent is, you can do it. If we can dream it, you can do it. So that is our antecedent is, you can dream it, you can do it. Okay, so let's have an Try this. Identify the antecedent and consequent in each of the following conditional statements. 
If I had the money, I would buy the painting. If Shelly goes on a trip, she will not be able to take part in the graduation ceremony. If they had a guard dog, then no, would, no one would trespass on their property. You have to identify the antecedent, which is the P, and the consequent, which is the Q. Okay. Our notation, the conditional statement, if, then Q, can be written in our notation. Arrow notation. So this one reads as this one. If P then Q or P implies Q. If P then Q or as P implies Q. So it could be read both here. If P then Q or P implies Q. The true table for conditional statement if P implies Q is this one. If the conditional P implies is false only in this case if the P is true and Q is false. When the P is true and Q is false, this is a false statement. It is true to all other cases. So what we're going to uh, remember is that if P is true, and the uh, Q is false. This is the only false uh, truth table or truth value that we could have in in conditional statements or conditional uh, conditional statement or for this one. So true, false, and the the the, the truth value is false. It it is true uh, in all other cases. If the 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 P is Q and the, the Q is, if the P is true and the Q is true, then this is true. Even though the P is false and the, the Q is true, still the truth value is true. If both statement is false in conditional statement, that is equal to, that's equal to true still. So what we're going to remind in conditional statement or remember about the conditional statement, this is the only false if the statement if the P is true and the Q is false. That is P implies Q. Okay, find the truth value of the conditional. Okay, determine the truth value of each of the following. So we have to Check this conditional statement. Let us have first this one, letter A. So in letter A, so we have to determine what is the antecedent and the consequent. So if what is our P and what is our Q. Okay. If 2 is an integer, then 2 is a rational number. Yes, 2 is an integer true and 2 2 is a rational number is true, so therefore our, our truth value for P implies Q of this number 1, this one is a true statement. So therefore this is a true statement. Okay, P, Q, then P implies Q, that's true statement. Letter B, if 3 is a negative number, and then 5 is greater than 7. Okay, so take note that when the only statement, okay, this one, true, false, when the consequent here is true, understood that it, the, the, the statement or the all over statement is true. In this case, huh? okay, so true ang atong consequent it follows that all that all these are true the statement okay if 3 is a negative number then 5 is greater than 7 so this one is false and this one is false statement so therefore this is a true statement so negative number then 5 is greater than 7. So this is a true statement. Let us see if 5 is greater than 3. Then 2 plus 7 is equal to 4. If this is 
if RP or the antecedent is true, then R consequent, which is Q, which is false. So this is the only false of the truth value, which is true, false. So therefore, the truth value is false. Because this one, 5 is greater than 3, that's true. But 2 plus 7 is false. So therefore, the truth value for this conditional statement or the conditional is false. Okay. So this is true and this is false. Okay. So let's proceed with the next one. So find the truth value of the conditional. So that I mean the truth value of each of the following. So we have to follow this uh, conditional statement. Okay. So that I mean the truth value of each of the following. So if if 4 is greater than or equal to 3, then 2 plus 5 is equal to 6. So for letter A, so we have to check if this one is, if, if, 4 is greater than 3 or equal to 3. So this is a true statement. Why? Because this uh, statement greater than or equal of one of the statement is true because this is uh, this junction. So the statement is true. So this is a true statement. And this one is 2 plus 5 is a false statement. So therefore, we could say that by conditional statement when this is true and false so therefore this is a false statement so this one is a false statement okay so letter b if 5 is greater than 9 then 4 is greater than 9 so letter b we have to check this one is a false statement because 5 is not greater than 9 and the next one, if this is our P, Q, or P, Q, and this is our P implies Q. So we have here false, then 4 is greater than 9 is false statement. If there is a false statement and false statement, that is a true statement. For letter C, we have if Tuesday follows Monday, then April follows March. So therefore, Yes, Tuesday follows Monday. This is a true statement. And for antecedent, and for this uh, consequent, rather, April follows March. So therefore, this is true. So therefore, this is a true statement. So this is true, and this is true. Okay, so try this at home. Determine the truth value of each of the following. X is an integer even integer and x squared is an even integer so try uh, solving that one at home okay thank you for listening and please answer this one